This is Rod from Garden Crossings, and we're up at the Northern Michigan Garden, and uh, we just finished off uh, our deck on the back of the cottage uh, this week, and now I need to get some more plants planted. As you can see, it's quite a slope, and I'm trying to keep the soil from eroding, and I want to add a little color to it. It's uh, pretty much a shaded area. It gets sun late in the day, and so I picked more shaded plants that can tolerate a little bit of uh, sun, afternoon sun it will be actually. And I'm just going to go ahead and start planting. But before I begin, what we have here is Heuchera wildberry. Um, it's Corbel. And I'm trying to play on color here, on leaf color. I don't have a lot of flower color or flower power um, here. so. Then I have Hack and McClaw All Gold. And if you've watched some of our videos, you'll see it in other places around the cottage as well. But a great uh, shade plant that adds some color to it, color to the landscape. So I'm planning on putting those basically along the deck itself. And then I grab some uh, Ajuga. And these are our feathery friends of Juga that we carry. And this is Fierce Falcon. And um, it's a dark color. And that's what's I'm going to try to play with the Heuchera being the dark color and the All Gold being a yellow color. I thought I needed another Juga here that was more in the lighter color. And this is parent paradise so and that's going to go along the stairs then we're going to put some bark down and hopefully the soil doesn't erode and it will become a beautiful small planting also here i have my drill with my the auger um twist and shout auger from proven winners twist and plant uh twist and plant not twist and shout that's a song but I'm going to use this to drill up, drill in the quart pots, and then uh, spread some bark, and we'll go from there. So watch me plant. Just trying to get an idea here of spacing and how close we want to go together. We'll have Rod talk about what the plant tag say spacing is, um, but we're just gonna we're just playing right now. I'm trying to figure out what look we want. <laughs> I would like to see this closer, but is it going to be overcrowded when we're... I know, we gotta think about like future, not just instant gratification. I mean, it's not gonna get watered for the most part. Right. So. The Heuchera should do fine. I mean, we know the Juga, the deer might chew it down. But it came back nice. But it came back nice on the other side. Right. Deer will go after the heuchera, right, or no? They haven't in other places. They could. They could. I mean, it's the driveway, so it's not like, I feel like they come down through the dirt and the grass, not the driveway usually. That's true, and then they have to climb the hill. Right, I mean, <laughs> if we can't, although they can climb much better than we can. Okay, so plant. basically what we're looking at is all gold was spacing of 18 to 24 with a height of 9 to 14 inches. So I'm probably going a little even closer than what I should be going, but you know what? I want it, I want it full. It's like I'm planting a container right now, which I'm not. A window box. A window box. There you go. An in the ground window box. There you go. Perfect. Um, the wild berry is facing 16 to 20. I would 
would say you're kind of going, I mean, fairly close to what the recommendations are. Maybe just a little short. And height of 10 to 14. So, anyways. You'll be good. Let's just, yeah, let's just go with that. Because this is really sandy soil, right? It is very sandy soil. So, again, I'm going to use my auger from the power planter. And I'm going to drill these in instead of dig the hole. Um, I know in previous digging here last weekend, I know there's nothing in my way. That's what you got to be uh, careful about. Like roots or power lines or... Well, right. More or less power lines. I guess if you get <laughs> roots, you get jerked. But at least if you found a power line, you get jolted. <laughs> um, no, I was more thinking the water line that comes down off the roof, but I didn't see it, so... Oh, yeah. See a little of the crushed rock that was in here before I tried to be Mr. Cement Man um, here a couple weeks ago. Because, yeah, they just had, like, about a, what, 18-inch to 24-inch dirt that just kind of ran all the way down the driveway for drainage purposes. Correct. But you want to take cement from driveway to the path in there. So even though this is sandy soil, it looks like it's fairly kind of like a, a rich sandy soil. So we'll have decent drainage, but there's enough dirt in there. Don't you think that it will hold moisture and not just drain right through? No, it's not going to drain right through. That wasn't my concern. My concern was that the dirt was going to wash down the hill. Oh, yeah, right. So when Carter... Oh, wait a minute. So when Carter took his truck on this hill, and he, didn't he have like the grade thing going on on his truck and it told like what percent grade this yeah, hill was, do you six, remember? 16%. 16% grade? So is that pretty, I mean, it feels significant as we're walking up it. Is that significant? Depends if it's morning or evening. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? You got more energy or less energy? Yeah, I don't know which one that is, though. If oh. it's morning or, or evening. <laughs> but that's why we we had the stairs down there put in a number of years ago, or a couple years ago. And now we built the deck down to the stairs. So now it's pretty much all stairs if you want to use it. All right. We were planning ahead for when we get older and can't tackle the hill. Maybe we'll be able to tackle the stairs better. No, that's just on a wheelchair and just go, hey, have fun. The water will stop you. Oh, boy. I mean, that's digging in that soil really nicely. Don't laugh at me. I got to keep it neat, you know. Right, you're a, you're a tidy gardener. Oh, something's down there. Rock? Hmm, what did I just take out? I hope it wasn't a drain towel. That would be bad. Oh. I think it's because that main pole, they probably put mesh wiring around it when they cemented it in. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see that wire. To hold it into place, so. Doesn't make a difference on planting, but. Scooch it over a little bit. Plant around it. Did I just get closer together? I think you're pretty good. I know you're picky about like, you know, spacing as well, but plants are gonna grow at their own rate, so they may get unevenly spaced as they go. This will also be nice because it will keep that dirt from splashing up on that white edge too, I think. 
keeping it cleaner looking. Okay, so the jugas. It's basically nine to twelve. So we're gonna go. We're going closer. Um. But it's a ground cover. It's supposed to be close. Well, and those are giant plants too. I mean, there's a lot of potential runners. My goal is it's not gonna be all over the driveway. Yeah, that is pretty big. So what are you gonna do with those roots? I'm gonna break them off a little bit. Just take like the bottom quarter of the root ball yeah, off? Just, just get it broken up. I'm still gonna put it in the hole, but I'm not gonna do anything. It's just gonna add compost, right? We did find out, we, how did we plant, 50 of these on the other side last year? Yeah. Both but then we them. used multiple different, there's what, six in the series? Yeah, six or eight or so. These are the ones that I liked. There's skinny leaf ones, there's larger leaf ones. These are the ones I liked for what I was doing here. These are the more broader leaf ones, right? I yeah, so. and I didn't want to get, I know there's really yellow color where this is yellow slash burgundy in the leaf kind of on bronzing. this one, bronzing. Mm -hmm. um, they're skinny leaves of uh, the, the, this colored one, if you want to call it, a dark colored one. They're skinny leaves of the yellow one. They're skinny leaves of the bronzy one. But this is the one I chose. These are the two I chose. And so, these are nice because in the spring they have purple flower spikes, right? Yeah. But again, on the other side, in some other videos you've seen, people or you every all the viewers have seen how it's held that hill oh yeah and that hill was super dry and right last winter we noticed the deer were eating it almost down to the ground i think it probably helped it get fuller because yeah this summer they're gorgeous so it didn't really affect them at all And the weird thing is, is a juga are supposed to be a deer resistant plant. So, I mean. Must be they were hungry. Right. And I don't know. It, well, it's like Carter said to me yesterday. He goes, I just loaded up cabbage. He goes, that can't be deer resistant. Yeah, you wouldn't think so. Or lettuce, whatever. Yeah, I think he said lettuce. I think I'm going to end less than what I thought. Right. I feel like you're moving, I, moving I, just a little I bit. I really didn't want to end with a yellow. Why? I don't know. Cemetery rod, remember? Cemetery. Oh, yeah. Ew, that's going to be a cement. I cut it. Well, maybe just move the yellow one you just did over just a little bit and call this burgundy one the end. You know it'll spread into, spread further and fill it in. All right, here's the bet, and he's gonna plant one more. I'm gonna plant one more. <laughs> but it's gonna have to be the yellow. Hey, look it up there. I started with yellow. I should end with yellow, right? Yeah, I guess you actually did. If we're looking at the full picture, you're right. Oh. That is a you grow some good ball. plants there, Rod. Quality root system. So sometimes people get concerned that their plants are too root bound. Like, is that really a big concern? I mean, yeah, if you don't break it up, I suppose it could be. Um, because sometimes what will happen is it will never really spread out of those roots. But by me busting it up like that. So... Realistically, 
no, the customer shouldn't be concerned about it. But then they have to do something they don't normally want to do. It's like trimming your basket, trimming the roots. No one wants to trim a basket. Why would you want to trim the roots? Right. But it's good. So you can either, like you did, take like the bottom third off, or you could even take a shovel and like kind of spade it into like four or something too, right? I just break yeah. It, break it up, going up and down a little bit. Yeah. So we're gonna try this along the sidewalk here and see how this does. So how long are you gonna give it? Like till maybe the middle of next summer and see how they do. And if you like it, then, oh, actually I gotta move because of the angle, you're so much higher. So, um, oh, moving that one over just a little bit. Okay, it's a little closer than what I want here, but underneath that stone is fabric. So we're going to see how this does. Oh. We want to see if it grows well, like we're hoping. And if you like it and it grows well, your plan was to do, take out all these black slate rocks here along these stones. Possibly. Um, Possibly plant a juga down there too. Yeah. And why, why? I know you told me why, but tell them why you're thinking of maybe doing that. Because uh, trees, acorns, sticks, driveway, dirt, all, all it does is my nice slate stone looks like a mess. Yeah. That's only two years there, so. Yeah, it's a bunch of just junk and you can't really blow it out. The only issue is with bark it decomposes and you get more dirt in there. So, and then you add more bark and then all of a sudden it's over the driveway. And that becomes an issue for me too because I don't want to be blowing bark down the driveway. Right. Where stone doesn't obviously decompose. Or move. It can rain and it doesn't move. All right, so you got one more step here to this process. Uh, the cleanup step? Oh, the mulching step, or as you call it, the barking step. Barking, yeah. I need to read the bag more often. What you got? Mulch. Mulch. What kind of mulch are you using? Shredded mulch. So, um, what kind of wood is this bark, I mean mulch, oh, made out of? It's natural. A natural wood. Comes from the environment, huh? Uh, I guess so. Does it stand um, there if it's like hardwood or? Eh, it doesn't really say what kind it is. But it's natural. <laughs> it's very natural. And I, what I mean, mean natural is natural color height. <laughs> natural color. Because, you know, we have brown around the greenhouse. People use red. We used to have red. Natural is now your new color. Yeah, natural is now the new color for me. So by using this mulch, not only does it like make it look finished and tidy, it also helps hold moisture in and it helps keep kind of weeds at bay as well, right? Yep. Sorry, focused. That was kind of an easy way of spreading that mulch. It kind of was. <laughs> so how thick are you going to try to put it? A couple mm. inches? A couple inches. So will this have to be remulched next year, you think? Or do you think it will last for two years? Depends on what you want it to look like. I mean, you won't have to do it next year because it still will be there. But do you want the nice fresh bark look or do you want... Oh, bark. You said bark. Mulch. Mulch. Yeah. At least I'm not saying I'm barking. That's woof, true. Woof. So as you're spreading that and making it all smoothed out, was, I don't, you had told me a story once that somebody actually like every couple of weeks had their landscapers go and what rake up the mulch just so it looked like it was always fresh. Oh yeah, that was Logan's buddy. Oh yeah. Yeah, he worked for a landscaper and they always stirred it up every couple of weeks so it looked fresh. <laughs> I believe the guy, the, the, the person really liked doing that job too. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Probably seemed like a little bit of a waste of time, I would imagine. 
That does look so nice and finished. I think you need uh, a butt pad as you're scooching down the driveway. You got them for your knees. I wonder if they make them for shorts. They make a skateboard, but I don't think that would be in my best interest. <laughs> How many more gardens we can actually do here anymore, Hyde? Yeah, I think you've about maxed it. No, you wanted to redo the front one by the road, didn't you? Yeah, maybe. I don't know if I want to truly tackle that one myself. You've tackled some pretty big gardens here. Why not tackle that one? Well, because I think you want more. A little landscape. Landscape rock. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to open this bag, yeah. All right. So we grow plants, Rod does a great job at landscaping, but we are not landscapers. Therefore, we don't have you know that heavy equipment that the landscapers have. Even we if I had heavy equipment, what am I gonna do? Take it down the driveway for a little bucket? That's true. And I mean, I would've let you take the wheelbarrow down with a load of bark. That would've been kind of funny to watch. Are you saying I couldn't do it? Mm, I'm not quite sure I could do it without letting it slide down the hill. <laughs> I know Bark's mulch is not that heavy, but wheelbarrow and 16% slope. I can't even stand up on this one. All right, well, so when Rod gets this mulch all spread in and leveled out in this space, I think it's starting to look very nice, and we're excited to see how this continues to fill out. Um, it's fall right now, but how we see it continue to fill out into next summer, and we'll be sure Why to update you. Why are you calling you. it fall? It's only the beginning of September. It feels we like don't fall. want winter yet. No, it feels like fall. Um, so we'll, be, we'll make sure we continue to update you on how the progress of this does uh, going into next year. If you have any questions or comments, you can feel free to leave them below. Rod would love to answer any questions that you have. Or and uh, <laughs> This is a little bit of a different video format. A lot of times we don't do videos of actual projects. We just kind of show you the end results. So uh, hopefully maybe you enjoy this kind of video as well. Um, let us know because that would be something too that we'd like to know. And uh, yeah, hopefully you just kind of like the commentary between me and Rod. Just really um, talking real life as we're planting this little garden space together. Thanks for watching. I'm Heidi. And I'm Rod. From Garden Crossings.